Hi, Ms. Wolf's class, Wolfpack, second grade. Um, I actually made a demo classroom and have a, another email of mine as the student to show you how you can upload videos onto Google Classroom, okay? So recently, tonight, I added this assignment, but if you've already turned it in, like I know there's families that have sent me emails with the video, you don't have to do that again. You don't have to resend anything that you've already sent to me. This is for the ones that have videos, but it's, it's very tricky on the iPad. It doesn't always work the way we want it to. So I was playing around and I was playing around with this demo classroom and I figured out on your iPad how you can upload videos for me, okay? So I created an assignment. It's, it's called On the Very Top by Daily Attendance. It's called Bookshare Assignments. And then you can upload as many videos as you want. And I'm gonna show you how. Okay, so if you look at the bottom tabs, in there's three of them. It says Stream, Classwork, People. I want you to click Classwork. It just is nicer to click there. I just like it. So there's this. My assignment's called Upload Videos. Yours will be called Bookshare Assignments, okay? So now I'm gonna press the assignment, okay? And it looks a little confusing, right? Um, you don't really see where to add anything. It's not really user friendly, but there's a little carrot top with the up arrow. It's gray. On the very bottom, it says your work. In the middle, in light gray, there's an up arrow, okay? So if you press it, it gives you the options. You could, I don't want you to mark it as done if you didn't upload anything, but right here it says add attachment. Now, this is going to be different because I'm going to ask you to pick photo, to use that option, okay? So I know that sounds weird. You're gonna say, Miss Wolf, I made a video. I didn't make a picture. I'm gonna say, yes, I know. It, the iPad is weird because on the iPad, your videos that you create show up on your camera roll. So you can see your pictures and your videos when you look at it. I'm gonna show you that in a second. So what you're gonna do Instead of pressing file, which is what I would press initially, I because it is a file, it's a movie file. No, you want to press pick photo, okay? So I'm gonna press pick photo. And now I made just like a quick short video. Your video that you're reading to me is longer, so you're gonna have to be patient and wait for it to load. It's gonna take a little bit. But I made a quick video right here, okay? If this is the video I want, I could play it to make sure it's the one I want and it's playing and blah, 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 I love it. Okay, so I'm gonna use it. So on the top right, there's, you can see use right here, okay? You're gonna click that. Now it's compressing my video from my iPad and now it's uploading video. It's uploading the video I wanted. So once it loads, it takes time. You, it, it looks like it did, now it's gonna show up on top, okay? So if I wanted to add another video to Miss Wolf because I, I couldn't figure it out, but now that she has this, I can add more than one. So what you could do then is add it. You can go pick photo. And you could even go to the one that says videos, right? So if I wanted to show Miss Wolf another one, say I wanted this one, I'll press use. And now if you know it says it's compressing, it's loading on the bottom, compressing my video to send Miss Wolf, it's going to load. Okay, so if I wanted Miss Wolf to only see all of those from, those were the only Bookshare assignments I've completed so far, then I can press turn it in. Okay, so what I could do then is I can press turn it in. And then Miss Wolf can see the videos that, it says two attachments will be submitted. So you can say turn in. Takes a little bit to unload. Now if you're sitting here and you're like, oh man, I actually made a third one because I really wanted to read this book to Miss Wolf too. Then you can come here, come back to this assignment, okay? You could press unsubmit.
then you can add your attachment later on, okay? If you have another video. So if you have these for now and you're like, yep, I want Miss Wolf to see these, make sure she sees them, you can submit it to me and then that's how I can see your videos. If you have another one you want to add to this assignment, you can always come back and unsubmit to add more things to it, okay? So if you like what you have, you press turn it in. Now, Miss Wolf sees it, and Miss Wolf gets notified that you turned in an assignment. Yay, love it. So I apologize if it was difficult before to find where to upload videos. Um, Google Classroom has been a learning curve for me too. It's been pretty tricky. And um, I do wanna thank all the families that text me or call me or talk with me so I can try to help and then I also learn as well. So I found out today that it would be easy for me to just make a plain assignment without any attachments so you can upload the videos that you wanna send me. I don't know why I didn't think of that before. I apologize big time. But I hope this video helps, okay? So to remember, it's to come to that assignment that says Bookshare, okay? And remember to use that little gray carrot top, all right? Um, it looks a lot different on my computer too, so I'm happy that I had this iPad to look and see what you guys actually see. And it took me this long to create a new email and figure out this demo stuff. But bottom line, Wolfpack, we're gonna get there eventually, and I'm really excited to see the videos, okay? I hope this video helps. You can rewind it if you have to. Um, also, just a reminder, if you've already emailed me the video and I've responded to you that I've received it, you don't have to resubmit them, okay? This is just for the families and a lot of us that wanted to post on to Google Classroom, okay? So I hope this, you find this helpful. I hope this works. Please call me, message me, let me know if you're not seeing the same things that I have seen on my iPad because I can't add myself as a student into my classroom. And I made a random Gmail, but that's another story. The Beloit Google Classroom will not let me add myself as a student, just weird. So anyways, that's the story I have. But anyways, I'm not gonna keep babbling. I hope this helps. Please let me know if it doesn't. Um, okay, later. I'm gonna find the stop button, sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh, if it loads. Okay, peace. I hope this helps.